welcome to another slow Saturday. My Saturday is going to be absolutely amazing. My daughter and her husband and my grandchild is here from Sweden. So in about half an hour or so we're going to leave. We're going to spend the day with them on the farm. And um, it's just going to be absolutely glorious. It's so nice to see her again. And it's so nice to see the little one. It's just amazing so obviously she arrived on Tuesday I didn't get much done this week I spent more time there than what I did with my crafting and that's okay the craft can just wait nobody will die in the process and even if I have to push a deadline or two out then so be it look what I'm wearing look what I'm wearing this is the uh, color spun cotton Erin. it looks like this it's a very nice thick cotton, it's a cable yarn, very nice texture, that I paired up with um, some kit silk from Colorspun and those two gave you this nice blotchy effect and it's very nice and warm despite it only being cotton and not merino, the mohair is enough to give so much warmth and it's amazing to me that such a thin thread of yarn, I mean it's really, really thin, it's very thin, can create such a, an amazing halo. If you feel this thing like this, it's got this, this halo of fluff sitting on top of it. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy with it. Um, it's quite long. It's it's in the middle of my upper leg, so it's very nice over the stretch pants. Keeps the bum warm. And this is the pattern that I'm going to release on the 2nd of July um, at the Color Spun Studio. Um, the name of the pattern is Let's Talk Purple. And what I've done is, um, as I explained last week, I like writing about things that I encounter in everyday life. I can't write stories but I can and I love to write about just everyday type of things that we encounter that we all have to work through at one stage or whatever and um, long time ago I had a blog called Orange Mary where I used to write about these life experiences and um, in this pattern, let's talk. The patterns that start with let's talk is going to be like this. Uh, I just have a chat with you. You can pretend I'm sitting there with you and in between bits of the pattern there's a little piece of writing. It looks significantly different from the rest of the pattern so if you don't want to read it you can simply skip over it and carry on to the next part. But um, I have it tested only by two of my testers which are also very good friends of mine and I'm waiting for their opinion before I will give it to somebody else I'm a bit sure let's see what happens okay so this pattern is coming out on the 2nd of July I'm very very happy with it and I love it so much that I actually decided I'm gonna make myself more of these not the same, obviously not different designs, but this long thing over the stretch pan, I absolutely love it. Um, after that massive operation that I had in 2020, I can't wear a jean. I can't wear anything that's tight around my tummy. My, my colon doesn't want anything pushing against it. So I live in stretch pants and this just um, gives the stretch pant a nice lift and it looks all formal and glitzy and I love it. Okay, so what else am I working on? I'm still working on the log cabin patches. It's coming along quite well. We are nearly finished with the smallest size and I absolutely love what I'm seeing. Um, as the picture in my head is realizing in front of me in my hands, it just makes me so happy. So we are working hard on that one. Our deadline is supposed to be end of September and um, I'm going to try my best to get there, but if I don't, then we push it out with a month. I don't care. Life is too short to work to deadlines all the damn time. Sometimes you just have to throw it to the wind and say, nah, I'm going to do this. Okay. The other thing that I'm working on, I had this fab idea. You know my measure and make patterns. When I started with the concept, one of my testers used one of the patterns for a baby. And... 
although it actually caught me by surprise. Um, the measure and make concept is so that you can make a garment suited to your body um, with any yarn in any needle or hook size. So obviously it should apply to a baby as well and some of them do, some of them don't. And those that don't is because of the difference in ratio between the size of the head and the size of the body. If you take it, my head circumference is 54 centimeters. My 14 month old granddaughter has a head circumference of 47. It's only 7 centimeters less than mine, but she's this tiny little thing. So the, the head to body ratio make it difficult. So if the measure and make pattern starts with the head circumference, it doesn't work for a baby. But if it starts with the neck circumference, it does work for a baby. So I took out some yarn from my stash. This is, I showed it to you a couple of weeks back when we went to Paris for my uncle's funeral. I stopped in a little yarn shop there and I bought these three hanks. It's um, it's a nice turquoise color and a dark chocolate brown and then it's like a creamy yellowy pinkish that comes through it's a very interesting skein this it's got a bit of pink in there it's it's quite nice so i'm going to make um the the next project that i want to do is a henley sweater the henley neck with a few buttons here in the front raglan sleeves and then as long as you want it um, I'm going to make a miniature version for the baby, for my little baby boy, baby grandchild, baby grandson, my baby grandson in Cape Town. I'm going to make a miniature version with this and then I'll make him some matching pants from the hose and muds pattern. I will never put out a pattern for baby pants, never. Because that pattern is just mind-blowing. It is so good that my daughter still begs me for pants for Abby. I'm knitting her up some pants now from that same pattern. Hose and mutts. It's just brilliant. For me to do any other pattern for pants would be like reinventing the wheel. It's stupid. I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to make pants with this dark brown one for him. And then I'm going to use some of the brown... In the in the little sweater to make it a matching set so I'm gonna make him a miniature one a Henley one and then I'm gonna use the same pattern to make myself one uh, I've got these fingering merino that um, is six colors that go down in an ombre is it six colors or five I think I had six six yeah yeah six colors they go down in an ombre and I'm gonna match them with um, kit silk in the very dark brown all the way down I fell in love with this kit silk thing it's actually not I don't need kit silk this one is still kit mohair and silk lace I'm actually quite happy to use just super fine kit mohair with a little bit of nylon and the silk makes it extremely expensive and we would like to keep it a little bit more affordable. So when I'm done with this kit silk, the next one, I will probably just use kit mohair. But I want to match it up like this one because it's just such a glorious texture and it, it's so nice and warm. So I'm going to make myself a Henley with that and then the miniature version for the baby. And then if, depending on how much yarn it takes, I might make a second one with this. I'll see. But I want to use these three for the little boy kit down in Cape Town. So that is my planning. When will the Henley sweater be available? Probably by the end of July somewhere. I'm taking my time. Um, no man. I'm taking my time with that simply because my daughter is here and I want to spend as much time with her as possible. So uh, um, I'm not going to be designing as much. Pardon about the dogs. She's now hearing something. Probably a shadow shifting or whatever. You know how it goes. Okay. So that's about all that I'm working on. I'm working on the log cabin patches. 
and um, I'm gonna do the Henley sweater now this one is done and I'm so happy with it I think it came out marvelous yeah what I do is whenever I make something the moment it's finished I wear it I wear it a couple of days in a row sometimes to figure out how it sits how it behaves does it change shape does it lose shape does it spiral around your body is there any defects that I should fix before I release the pattern so for the next week or two I'll be wearing this constantly and um, just to see how it behaves and, and I absolutely love it I really really do okay I saw a post this is like gossiping but I won't mention names I saw a post of somebody who complained in one post about not finding testers and then in the next post the requirements for the testers were outlined and I was like wow this is bad this is very bad sure you know what I have fabulous testers and I have many I have a pool of testers and I don't pressure anybody to do anything I put the project out there and I say would you like to test and those that want to test test and those that don't want to they don't because at the end of the day you you got to love what you're making and you've got to love what you're wearing and testing shouldn't be um, uh, what's the right word it shouldn't be something that really pisses you off Testing should be fun. I think so. I think it's it's fun. Well, I have a lot of fun with my testers. Most of them have become my friends. We never fight. We sometimes frown at each other when they can't count. <laughs> and then they frown at me when I can't count. And that happened a lot this week because I was so distracted. You know what? We've got to spend our time wisely. We've only got so much. And... And it, it's not only testing, it's crafting life, the whole of life in general. Don't spend your time on things that make you unhappy. It's not worth it. We only live once. And you've only got today once. You need to make the things that make you happy. Craft the things that make you happy. Give the gifts that make you happy. Spend your time wisely. Don't, don't invest time in activities such as that with negative and toxic people that just absolutely drains the joy out of your life it's not it's not worth it okay so today I'm gonna have fun with my little granddaughter she is the cutest thing on two legs it's gonna be a glorious day and when I come back I'm gonna start balling my yarn and I'm gonna cast on for my Henley sweater can't wait. I think it's going to be lovely. Okay, you've got something to look forward to. Um, uh, oh, there were some patrons on Patreon that couldn't get the free patterns the last time I released. I think there is an integration problem between Ravelry and Patreon. The two sites talk to each other. So I can do, and that's what I do. A promotion on Ravelry to say this code is only for my patrons and the two are linked but I think what happens is and, and and I just need to confirm it if you've only joined this month you haven't been there for longer than a month it doesn't pick you up if that has happened to you kindly send me an email or a comment or something somewhere and then I'll help you because my patrons on Patreon for $3 a month get my patents for free. Okay, you must have a glorious Saturday. I hope your Saturday is slow and lovely. Mine is certainly going to be and I'll see you again next week.